Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back with the Sphere. Got to start the, uh... The, f the fifth character's story. This is the last one, too. Cornelius, he squeezed my hand so tightly. Forgive me. I cannot help but keep you close. But soon I must depart. My father awaits. Can you meet me here again? I shall be waiting. Your promise gives me strength. Tis but a temporary separation. I do not approve. Ingwe! How dare you! How long have you been there? Must I turn him into a frog to make you give him up? Wake up, Velvet. He is a prince. We are but vagabonds. Your love amounts to nothing. <laughs> you need not be jealous, Ingwe. King Valentine's blood runs through you both. You are the last living heirs. You shall restore the throne. Silence. Skaldi, go tell Urza that I shall be successful in my plans. Aye. A king, eh? So they want us bastards conceived in treachery, linked to our grandfather's bloody throne? I think not. Please, don't talk about our mother that way. Velvet. It would seem you have forgot about the curse she set on us. I have not forgotten. No, you have. Now, read this one's prophecy our mother wrote. Tis written clearly. An unavoidable curse and death shall be unleashed upon us both. Our mother, who could see the future, wished death upon us. We abandoned our mother first. Twas inevitable she would curse us. Had we not abandoned her, that crazed king would have executed us as well. I would have preferred that. At least we would not have to suffer under a curse cast by our own mother! That doesn't mean that the curse she has predicted will come true. Oh, can you see the future now, like Mother in Hindle? <laughs> I'm sorry, Velvet. I spoke too strongly. Let us go. Hold on to this. My dear children, eventually an inevitable curse. Curse and death shall be thrown upon the two of you. Mother. Because she gets like a uh, long range grab. 
tabs later on. And you, and you, and you can, uh, and, 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 and you can loop them if you can get them consistently. Why hath my slumber been disturbed? You possess the gift of foresight. I seek an answer from you. Unfortunately, I cannot assist you. When I speak, fairies and humans misinterpret my words and lose their perspectives. I have stopped gazing into the future. I am of King Valentine's bloodline. I had heard that you were close to the royal family. Sheep are close to humans as food, not friends. So too are dragons. We have never been friends of man. I see. So you are Velvet. I have had visions of your arrival. I guess this is the time. If you knew I was coming, then you know why I am here. As your mother said, a curse and death surround your own demise. Tis nothing to fear. No life can escape death. When life ends, a world is sealed. If you know my fate, you know that it is pointless to discuss my death. Yes, that is correct. Please tell me what the future holds. Everything hath already been written in the prophecies. I have nothing more to add. The path to take will be indicated by your mentor. My mentor? Death cannot be avoided, but fate can be redirected. Are you suggesting destiny can be changed? I exist for guidance. Though I be not rewarded, I must serve my purpose. Until, as the prophecy states, the Shadow Knight from the Fairy Kingdom takes my life. Oh. Deny fate if you wish. That is your duty in your demise. Hmm. You shall visit here once more. At that time, my friend shall attend to you. Now, please go. My own end draws near. Even sinners before their execution are allowed time for a prayer. Please do not interfere with my slumber. Princess Velvet, if I knew you would be visiting, I would have had some tea ready. Are you still in the castle in the forest? It's quite far from anything. It is a very nice castle, but it's almost like a prison out there. Everyone needs to believe that you and Ingwe are the only survivors of the destruction of Valentine. Princess Velvet, have you been studying? This is a perfect time to review our nation's history. The Kingdom of Valentine was created after our ancestors first came to Arion. Our exceptional skills in magic and technology flourished, and we prospered, becoming an affluent nation. In our golden age, we controlled over half the continent and- Master Croy. Mm -hmm. Princess, I'm off to earn some money. These days, I can get a fair amount of coins by working in the Fairy Kingdom. Let's get our first chapter going.
As we have discussed before, there are several prophecies about this land. All of them refer to the end of the world, caused by five disasters, a monster, a fire, a king of death, a cauldron, and a dragon. The prophecies about our own nation were similar. Ingwe and I were taught about these prophecies when we were younger. Princess Velvet, do not have an answer regarding how to save the two of you. Master Croy. Any instructor would be vague. They would guard their words to comfort their pupil. Skaldi. Is this an acquaintance of yours? Before the first Valentine heir came to this land, the prophecies regarding this area were already ancient. They are more accurate than the tales coming from less enlightened nations. How dare you insinuate that my country's wisdom is fallacious! King Galen of my country, Titania, listed these prophecies in an epic poem. The truth behind the catastrophe can be found in these verses. And where are these poems? I would like to see them. The Psalms have been scattered and are lost. One section has been passed by word of mouth, however, it is quite vague. If you know not the words, tis best to admit that you do not know them. All wise men respect honesty. If you continue your folly, you will never find the answer you seek. You do want is a fight. Oh, I feel dizzy. Be careful. Anger is likely to disrupt the amount of blood reaching one's brain. Then I salute your extensive knowledge. I bid you farewell. Master! That wasn't nice, Scaldi. I spoke only the truth. Tis fact that the Psalms foretell events to come. Is there any way to read the whole scripture? Only King Galen knows the entire poem. But Galen is held prisoner in the Netherworld. Hmm. You once said you are able to go to the Netherworld. Yes, indeed, I can. I'd like to know the truth. If the epic poems tell of destruction, I shall take you there and hand them to you. But please do not forget, if you seek fish, you must first bait the hook. What is it you want? Oh, the request of one as old as I is but a trifle. I ask for a single book. If I can borrow the Book of Transformation... That is a book of magic scribed by my grandfather. Tis my kingdom's treasure. It is not mine to give. I only ask to borrow it for a short time. I see. Well, let us go before we change our minds. Alright, let's get started. Ha! <laughs> 
Yeah, I was thinking of, uh... Uh, 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 I was thinking of uh, going to go and, uh, and the uh, the hub world, but because uh, uh, we got because we got some points from the uh, from the tutorial, and I decided uh, I 